It is not always necessary to remove the base, but removing the base can make it easier to move the auto sampler around and to turn it to various angles while you work. Position the auto sampler upside down. Don't worry, the arm is sturdy enough to support the weight of the auto sampler. The bottom cover plate is held by four screws. Next, remove the four screws which hold the base to the body of the auto sampler. As you take out the last two screws, support the base so that it won't fall. Here we see a rubber gasket with a communication cable and a power cable. We'll need to thread the cables through the gasket and push them into the auto sampler. On the top here, you can see the threads of the two leveling screws. These two points correspond to thumb screws on the bottom. The leveling screws put pressure on the base so that in this direction, the alignment is parallel between the head and the base in the Y direction. These screws normally do not need to be adjusted. Push the cables out through the hole in the bottom of the auto sampler. For most configurations, you do not need to plug these cables into anything. Thread the cables through the gasket, then make sure the gasket is completely seated. Lower the base onto the auto sampler. Reinstall the four screws. Make sure all four screws are tight. Finally, reattach the cover plate with four screws.